I'm Helga Davis, and I'd love for you to join me in conversation on my podcast, Helga. I'm speaking with artists, scholars, and cultural changemakers about the path we're all on. Listen wherever you get podcasts. Sam Sanders and his two best friends, writer Saeed Jones and journalist Zach Stafford, have a podcast called Vibe Check, where they make sense of what's going on in the news and culture. It's your favorite group chat come to life. Listen to Vibe Check wherever you get your podcasts. LAS Studios. It is cold out there, y'all. This is not news. I'm sure you've already posted to your Instagram or shared something in your group chat. But here's the deal. It's Santa Ana season, but instead of the classic warm and dry winds, there's a polar front coming down from Canada, and it's hitting all over Southern California. We have an incoming blizzard warning tomorrow. Snow falling along the 14 freeway through the Santa Clarita Valley. A winter storm warning until 4 a.m. tomorrow. We're talking hail, rain, high surf, and it looks like it's going to be here through the weekend. Next week is going to be cold and rainy, too. I know, big ugh. I'm still not over that rainfall we had earlier this year, and now we got this chill factor happening? Not cute. I was just out walking my dog, and I'm pretty sure it was hailing, so that was not very exciting for me. Oh, heck no. Y'all are a bunch of babies. I'm just worried about my plants. Of course. Plant daddy. (laughs) That's our producers, Megan Botel and Evan Jacoby. I lived in the East Coast, dude. I did. I've lived in rougher places. This is cold. We've also got Megan Larson, our executive producer. I was on the phone with my cousins from Pennsylvania just a little bit ago. And for me, it was what felt like 40 degrees and hailing. And for her, it's 70 degrees and sunny. So we're not just being babies. It's colder. It's colder here. (laughs) That's fair. (laughs) From Elias Studios, this is How to LA. I'm Brian De Los Santos. So far, it hailed in Pasadena on Wednesday, and there was like even a blizzard warning for parts of Southern California. What kind of weird weather have y'all seen in LA? The, The worst thing that I've ever seen, honestly, from the snow here, Baldi, a couple of seasons back, got slammed, total whiteout conditions. We didn't know that the entire parking lot had filled with cars while we were hiking. Half of our party was like 30 minutes behind us and we got down the mountain fine, but with the snow and all, and then all these people trying to like flock out at the same time, the party behind us was stuck on the mountain for like 12 hours because there were so many car accidents. Oh my God. They were just like literally waiting in their cars, you know, freezing for and all And you're going to do that again, Evan? No, <laughs> no. I am not going up a windy mountain pass in, in eight feet of snow. Good, good. <laughs> it did hail a couple years ago in Pasadena. I remember that. Or it was, what is it, Grapple? Yeah, I don't really know what that is, but I think we have a guide on LES if you if you want to look that up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just Google Grapel and LES, G-R-A-U-P-E-L, for those who need to know. <laughs> we'll tell you what it is. Snow or grapple may even occur across some elevated valleys. Oh. Oh, it's a weather type. It's a weather thing, yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Sleet? Not sleet? Kind of. I guess you could call it sleet, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, I'm getting on a plane this weekend, and spoiler alert, we have an episode about my traveling next week, but no tea, no shade. I will be landing on a beach. I'm sorry, you guys, but you guys are stuck here. Um, How do you guys spend your rainy weekends? So I have this weird thing where I don't feel like it's okay to watch TV during the day when it's sunny outside. So on the rare occasion when we have terrible weather in LA, I really just love watching TV during the day and watching movies and relaxing. So definitely going to do some of that. I'm also looking for some good exhibits because my mom's going to be in town. So I want to take her to some museums if anybody knows if any cool ones, any cool exhibitions happening. Oh, that's cute. And Megan Larson, you have a whole squad of kids and family. What are you going to get to do with them? (laughs) Well, I don't have to go to Costa Mesa for a soccer tournament. At least I don't think I do. I'm sure it'll be canceled. I actually have my weekend back, I think, which is kind of nice. So I may do what Meg's doing and just chill out. That's always nice. So I'm going to maybe clean out my closet and maybe I'll actually cook a nice meal. Or, I don't know, just stay cozy and eat some good food. 
Staying cozy, I feel like that is what hits on cold weather in LA. I'm such a baby. I like to be like up in my blankets and get a sopa or something. So what I actually I did, I tweeted out like what are your favorite takeout places to go to, you know, or to order out or to like get some DoorDash or whatever food delivery service you can get. And I got a little help from my friends on Twitter. Hey, what's up? It's Jarrett. So my favorite takeout in LA that I probably order the most is from My Two Cents. Let me tell you, like everything that they have is hidden. But that crispy goat cheese salad and that vegan pasta, and I'm not even vegan, so like, get with me. Also that mac and cheese, somehow it's gluten-free, it's delicious. Everything that I've had from there is hidden. My name's Angela Kim, and some of my favorite takeout spots in Los Angeles include BBQ Chicken, Humji Park, Humbutt's Holong Tang, all in Koreatown, Nong La Cafe off La Brea, Hoi Ka in Hollywood, and Terry's Mexican Grill off Melrose. My name is Gabrielle Horton. Two of my favorite spots in the city include Woon, an incredible homestyle Chinese restaurant, kind of on that Silver Lake historic Filipino town border. They make the most incredible beef noodles, literally just wow. And another spot that I love is IXLB, an incredible mom and pop dim sum place in Hollywood. And honestly, you can't go wrong with anything on the menu. We got some good suggestions from our coworkers too here uh, in Pasadena. A good warm bowl of pho got a lot of nods. Saigon Eden in Alhambra, pho 87 near downtown. Danny Sway recommends Japanese katsu curry. He says it's the ultimate comfort dish and gets it from Kazu Mori in Arcadia in the H Mart. Um, and John Raby says look no further than Suhiro Cafe in Little Tokyo or Chinatown for some udon. And he also says the uh, My Vegan Thai restaurant in Eagle Rock is pretty good. Andy Orozco says her husband loves burritos from Avenue 26. Ooh, burritos on a rainy day. I mean, burritos are soup or like anything, honestly. That sounds yum. And I know some of these like are east side recommendations, but you know, our office is in Pasadena. So a lot of people live near there. What you gonna do, right? But I want to hear specifically from Evan because you live in Mid-City, which is obviously almost in the center of the city. Um, and Megan Larson, you also live out there. What are your favorites? I got to think on that. I don't really order a lot of takeout around here. Oh my here. God, really? You have to do something super basic. <laughs> I, I Evan, mean, do not I give me did. like something cute. Be like, you know, I like to get yogurt land <laughs> delivered because I am kind of weird. There is straight up a yogurt land right here. All right. I do. There I know. There is a yogurt land. I, what I just did before this interview, I walked over to my local donut shop and I got a lox bagel. I waited for the rain to stop. Does that count? No. <laughs> Do they deliver? It's delivery. Uh, okay, um, I am just going to move you, you over. You go. Okay? You go. You I go. We, don't need, we don't need your response. <laughs> oh, I know. I figured it out. Go ahead. <laughs> Yuko Kitchen on Wilshire, super delicious, and you can order a takeout from them. They have been on cheap fast seats before, so if you heard that, you know what to get. The chicken special plate thing, super yummy, comes with cookies. Okay. And soup, comes with soup. Well, I'm gonna give a shout out to the Chinese food place by my house, Fortune House. It's in that weird, awful intersection that's um, Olympic and Fairfax and San Vicente that is uh, terrible. And Steam Kitchen, really nice little dumplings. My 10-year-old daughter swears by them, also by that awful intersection. I can walk there if I want, or they will deliver to my house. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And Meg, how about you? Uh, you've lived in different places in Los Angeles. What's your favorite place to order on a cold, rainy day? Yeah, so I live in Mar Vista, so I, I enjoy a collection of West Side establishments. Two spots that came to mind right away. For something a little fancier, if you want to have like a, you know, indoor date night, Little Fatty, it's a kind of high-end Taiwanese restaurant in Mar Vista. And then Mayura, Southern Indian cuisine, my absolute favorite spot. Um, I think that's in Culver slash Mid-City area. Just saying, who introduced you to that place? Evan, <laughs> give me a chance. I was just about to do that. <laughs> I have to give two shout outs. One to Jonathan Gold, rest in peace, because he, I think, wrote about it. And that's how people know about it. Second, Evan, my fellow producer and friend, uh, introduced it to me for the first time. And I've been obsessed ever since. 
So I think the next time we all hang out as a group, as a team, we gotta go to this place. If it's so good. I don't think I've tasted it before, so. It is. Sounds yummy. Yes. And last but not least, my homie, Elias Food Editor, Gab Shabran. You're in Long Beach. What is your favorite? You know, who does take out there? Um, I mean, there's so much to choose from, you know, some really great Thai and Vietnamese restaurants. Last week, though, I went to a restaurant called Kenyatta's on Anaheim Boulevard, and they specialize in food from Guadalajara. I had a dish called carne in suhugo, meat in its juices, right? Mm -hmm. It's a soup that comes with beans, steak, bacon. I think there's some other miscellaneous vegetables in there, too. You can add jalapeno, pickled onion. It's salty, satisfying, perfect for the weather that we're having right now. Okay, y'all, one last note. Some of you might be using food delivery services this weekend because of the weather. Shout out to those drivers and food service folks. Tip them if you can. It's not easy to deal with all that weather, the driving, the rain. So just remember that. I got a lot more recommendations from folks on Twitter about where to order some takeout. We'll have a link to that in our newsletter. Check it out at elias.com slash howtoLA. Okay, that's it from us today. Stay safe and stay dry out there, LA. We're going to be back Tuesday with some tips on how anyone can build a quick and easy disaster kit just by going to Smart and Final or one of those type of places. Whether it's a severe storm like this weekend's or the big one, aka a big earthquake hits, it's good to be prepared for whatever comes. Until then, I'll see you later. Nos vemos. Bye. How to LA is produced by Evan Jacoby, Megan Botel, and Victoria Alejandro. Erica Washington writes our newsletter. Chris Farias is our social media producer. Our engineer is Hasmik Pagosian. Megan Larson is our executive producer. And I'm your host, Brian De Los Santos. Support for this podcast is made possible by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe that quality journalism makes Los Angeles a better place to live. There's something about a really good conversation that can feel like stepping through a doorway. I'm Helga Davis, and I invite you to join me for those conversations on my podcast, Helga. I'm speaking with extraordinary people, artists, scholars, and cultural change makers like Claudia Rankine, Bill T. Jones, and Michael R. Jackson. Join us. Listen to Helga wherever you get podcasts.